welcome to maths easy hello friends so there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels i'm here for the same today in this video i'm going to solve chapter compound interest of class 8 exercise 10.3 so if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters of class 8 maths book of well brothers publication house you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available moreover i have solved many chapter the chapters name are rational numbers exponent square and square roots cube and cube roots playing with numbers algebraic expressions factorization of algebraic expressions percentage and its applications compound interest direct and inverse variation quadrilateral surface area and volume probability and so on moreover i have solved many chapter of class 7 maths book of same publication of the chapters names are integers fractions decimals rational numbers linear equations triangle and its properties lines and angles so go by the playlist and check all the solution videos so and one more thing I want uh, to say that uh, if you subscribe the channel, it will motivate me to do or to solve or to bring more solution videos of more chapters. It hardly takes a second to subscribe the channel. So please do so. So uh, for, uh, for the time being, Exercise ten point three question number first says what sign uh, what sum will become rupees thirteen thousand three hundred and ten three years at ten percent per annum when the interest is compounded annually. So here we have to find out basically the principal and all other things are given to us. So we will write amount is given as rupees thirteen thousand three hundred and ten. Rate of interest is given as 10% and time is given as 3 years. So we will first write let the required sum be P. So formula we will write amount principal 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power N. In our next step, we will write rupees 13,310 equal to principal we have to find 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power not N. Three. So rupees thirteen thousand three hundred and ten P one plus R is ten by hundred raised to the power three rupees thirteen thousand. I'm doing step by step. I'm not missing even a single step so that it would make you absolutely clear what steps have been followed. So rupees 13,310. Please subscribe to the channel as it motivates me to make more solution videos. In our next step. So rupees. 13,310 principal 11 by 10 raised to the power 3. So rupees 13,310 principal into 11 by 10, 11 by 10 into 11 by 10. So, principal would be 13,310 into 10 by 11 into 10 by 11 into 
टेन बाय इलेवन कैंसल इट इलेवन वन जा इलेवन वन जा इलेवन टू जा इलेवन वन जा जीरो जा अगेन इलेवन वन जा इलेवन वन जा इलेवन वन जा जीरो जा अगेन इलेवन वन जा वन जा जीरो सो प्रिंसिपल विल बी कमिंग आउट टू बी एज रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड सो वी विल राइट देर फोर द सम ऑफ मनी is rupees 10000 so i hope the whole question is clear if any type of doubt is there feel free to ask your doubt by commenting in the comment box let's move further so question number 2 says question number 2 says find the annual rate of compound interest at which rupees 5000 becomes rupees 5832 after 2 years so basically we have to here find out the rate of interest so for in our first step we will write let the annual rate of interest be r principal rupees 5000 amount is equal to rupees 5832 time is equal to rupees time is equal to 2 years not rupees so amount is equal to p 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n so rupees 5832 equal to rupees 5000 1 plus r by 100 Two. Now, in our next step, we will write five thousand eight hundred and thirty-two by five thousand. We will bring five thousand here, so it would become one plus r by hundred raised to the power. So cancel it. Would become. Twenty five hundred and two nine one six. So it would be like fifty four and fifty square one plus r by hundred raised to the power two. So since we will write since bases are same. Since powers are same, so bases will also be same. So it would be like fifty four by fifty is equal to one plus r by hundred. So fifty four by fifty. Minus one is equal to r by hundred. So it would become fifty four minus fifty by fifty is equal to r by hundred. So four by fifty into hundred is equal to r. Four to the eight parts. So we will write rate of interest is it is eight percent per annum. Hope all whole question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubts by commenting in the comment box. Let's scroll once again. so if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible please do share as it hardly takes a second to subscribe the channel 
hardly takes a second to share a video and hardly takes a second to like the videos. So in my upcoming videos, I'll be solving more of the question of compound interest. Thank you so much and stay tuned.